Welcome back, gamers, to JD's Arcade. All right, it's day two of DOS games, and today we're going to talk about my first racing game for the PC. Stunts was addictive. Even if it was basically about getting the best lap time, just like all the other racing games at the time, you had to take care not to crash into a barn on the side of the road when jumping over a bridge, not to overshoot when driving up ramps, or just land anywhere where no car is supposed to go. Without a doubt, the biggest challenges are the loops, which really were something. The loops were semi-transparent, so you could see the surroundings through them. No idea why this was the way it was, but it certainly made it even harder to stay on the right track. So most of the time, I simply drove around the loops. The track editor certainly provided most of the fun. There you could really run riot and share your self-made track with friends. Yes, even before the internet. Just like the included tracks, you could drive the self-made tracks against computer-controlled drivers. Actually, the game made no difference between the included and self-made tracks at all. The choice of cars was very interesting. Almost all high-powered sports cars, but there was one or two compact cars. So it was a colorful selection. With the smaller cars, you could very well explore the tracks first. On a technical level, Stunts is certainly no masterpiece. Even at the time, I found the graphics and the sound rather mediocre. At least it ran very smoothly, though. How many of you had this game growing up? Share your memories in the comments, and thanks for watching.